Today we're going to learn about what are countries, learn about the country Ecuador and do some Ecuador activities. Hello everyone, my name is Anne Richmond. I'm the author of this book Charisma and the Berry Boat. Today at Charisma Readers Time, it's around the world time. Our countries. Past around the world time we learned that continents are large pieces of land. If you see the continents are divided into smaller pieces of land called countries. All these colored parts are different countries. Some countries are big like this one over here and some countries are small like this one over here. All these countries are taken care of by a group of people called government. All these countries have their own governments. Countries have outlines called borders. These borders can be real or imaginary lines. So this country over here has Atlantic Ocean as its border on this side. Real borders can be oceans, rivers, mountain ranges, and deserts. Countries have cities called capital cities. Capital city is where a country's government holds meetings from and functions from. Each country has its own flag. Countries have their own symbols called the court of arms. The symbols in the court of arms represents what the country stands for. Countries have one or more official languages. They also have their money called national currency. Today, we are going to learn about the country Ecuador. Ecuador is a country which the equator goes through. We already learned that the equator, this line over here, goes through three continents. So let's see. South America, Africa, and Asia. And the equator goes through 13 countries. And Ecuador, is one of the 13 countries. So let's see where Ecuador is. Ecuador is over here. Okay, Ecuador is in the continent of South America. Do you see the outline which is called the border? So Ecuador shares the border with Colombia and Peru and this side, it borders the Pacific Ocean. If you see here, there, there are archipelagos. Archipelagos are a group of islands. So this archipelago's name is Galapagos Islands. And that belongs to Ecuador as well. Let's learn more about Ecuador from a friend from Ecuador. This is my friend Clementina. She was born in Ecuador and she's going to help us learn about Ecuador. Hi everyone. Hi, my name is Clementina. Yes, I, I was born in Ecuador and now I'm living in Canada. There are 24 provinces in Ecuador and the capital city is in the province of Pichincha, which is called Quito. People from Ecuador are called Ecuadorians. This is the national flag of Ecuador. The yellow represents the, the sun and the gold. The blue represents the sky blue and the oceans. The red represents the heroes who fought for the country. The condor, is, which is the national bird of Ecuador, and it is the symbol that shows right on the top of the coat of arms. So the condor represents energy and effort. The mountain Chimborazo is in the coat of arms, which is the highest mountain of Ecuador. You will see a little bit of the snow on the top because it is quite cold in that area. There, the mountain has the, the, the snow and some of it does flow into the river of Guayas, which you'll see here. 
The currency that is used in Ecuador is the U.S. dollar. Ecuador is known for their handy articulate work, like the Panama hats made of straw, a special straw. Um, a lot of their wooden pieces are done very articulate, um, as well as their the fabrics. A lot of wool is used. And here the special cloth as well is hand is all handmade. Okay, and they, um, in Ecuador you do also, um, some people do wear um, what they call ponchos uh, because in, in the north it gets a little cold so they need to wear the ponchos like your sweater. When you wear a sweater, when you get cold, it's called a poncho. Okay, so if you can see this um, little piece of work here that was done, it shows the, the indigenous people wearing the ponchos. But anybody can have a poncho because it gets cold sometimes in the, in the evenings. There are three regions in Ecuador, the coast, the Amazon, and the Sierra. And in these regions, you'll have different uh, native or na um, indigenous people living in these regions. And all of them would have their own style of dress. As you can see, that they all have their own way of dressing according to their region. So this one would probably be up north more when, when they're wearing a lot more clothing, okay? They also do a lot of uh, artwork with uh, special plants that are found in the river, like this one. So in Ecuador, the tourists can go and visit a place called Mita, uh, Ciudad de Mitad del Mundo, which is an area that um, you can, you, you'll be standing in a spot like this, a line, a yellow line, probably a little thicker than this. So you'll step into the line, a crossover, the north side, and then to the south side. So you're in between the line and you're between both hemispheres at the same time, the north, the north and the south. Um, the line is latitude zero, zero. Ecuador is known for a lot of their dishes. The coastal area is known for a lot of their seafood. One in particular is called ceviche. And that can be made with shrimp or it can be made with different types of seafood. It's called ceviche. The official language of Ecuador is Spanish. Would you like to learn some Spanish? Hola means hello. Can you say hola? Buenos dias means good morning. Can you say buenos dias? Buenas noches means good night. Can you say buenas noches? Por favor means please. Can you say por favor? Si means yes. Can you say si? And no. No just means no. So you know what no means. To ask how are you, you say como estas. Can you say, como estas? To say fine, thank you, you say, bien, gracias. Can you say, bien, gracias? Adios means goodbye. Can you say adios? Adios, everyone. Now I'm going to show you how you can do an Ecuador activity. This is the equator. And Ecuador is right over here. Ecuador is in South America. So I'm going to color South America. Now I'm going to glue this over here. I have a larger South America here with all the borders of the countries. I'm going to color Ecuador. Now I'm going to glue this over here. That's Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, and the side is the ocean, Pacific Ocean. Now I'm going to mark the capital city, Quito. This is Quito, so I'm going to put 
Krista here, so you know, it's Quito. Now the official language is Spanish. We learned from Clementina that hola means hello. So I'm gonna put it over here. National flag of Ecuador, we already saw. So I'm going to glue the flag. And the coat of arms is mounted on the flag. The national currency is US dollars. I have a pouch here for the money. So I'm going to glue the pouch. You should never glue the money directly on a scrapbook. You should always be able to take the money out. Buenos dias. Good morning. Let's mark the equator. That's Ecuador. That's the equator going through. The Galapagos Islands are archipelagos, that means group of islands located in the Pacific Ocean. There are 19 islands in Galapagos Islands and five of them are occupied by people. The islands were formed by volcanoes. Some volcanoes are still active. The Galapagos Islands are famous for wildlife the famous scientist Charles Darwin studied the plants and animals here. Observing these animals in the island helped Darwin in his theory of evolution. Evolution is the theory that explains how living things change over time. I'm going to glue this green for island. Some more. Galapagos Islands are famous for their animals. They are huge and fearless wild animals. Okay, this one is Galapagos land iguana. Galapagos penguin. Sally lightfoot crab. Galapagos giant tortoise. Galapagos in Spanish means tortoise. So this is Chimborazo. Chimborazo is the highest point in Ecuador. Chimborazo is not the highest in the world because it's close to the equator. It's closer to the sun. So Chimborazo Peak is the closest point on the earth to the sun. Another important fact about Ecuador is the rainforest there. Part of Amazon rainforest is in Ecuador. There are several places where you can go and stand on the imaginary line equator. Some are more accurate than the others, but the most popular one is Ciudad Mitad del Mundo. Okay, Ciudad Mid City. Mitad is in the middle. Mundo means world, city in the middle of the world. I'm going to glue Mitte del Mundo. This is the line for the equator. So there's a monument like this one. So there are signs S and N to indicate south and north. You can stand on both sides. There are several things Ecuador's famous for. They're world famous for their chocolate, the Panama hats. The Panama hats are originally from Ecuador and not from Panama. The Ecuadorians hand weave the Panama hat with straws. Another thing Ecuador is really famous for is for their Ecuadorian roses and they are world's best roses. Because their rose heads are really big and full, and they have a variety of colors, and they will last longer in your vases. 
world's best roses come from Ecuador. Ecuador is also world's leading exporter of bananas. Popular sport in Ecuador is soccer. So let's look at what we did. Ecuador, South America, Ecuador, hola, hello, buenos dias, good morning, flag, US dollars, Galapagos Island, Chimborazo, Amazon rainforest, Ciudad Mita del Mundo, chocolate, Panama hats, Ecuadorian roses, soccer, banana. We also learned adios means goodbye. Next week, it's Fifth Monday special. We will be learning a new Father's Day song and do a Father's Day craft. Until then, goodbye everyone, I'm glad we had some fun. It's end of our circle time, see you next time. Bye everyone. New videos are posted every Monday on Charisma Reader Circle Time. First Monday of the month is music time. Second Monday is theme time. Third Monday is music time again and fourth is around the world time. Please subscribe to follow all of them in the right sequence. Kindly like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.